Well hello and welcome to the channel. It feels great actually to get the camera back out and just do some kind of an edit to go on the channel, especially during this horrendous time of lockdown. It's pretty much the end of January. But I decided I just wanted to show you how I'm getting through lockdown. I mentioned in a live edit on YouTube recently that I bought a spin bike, so I just want to show you that setup and exactly how I motivate myself to do the workouts. So here it is. This is my JLL IC300 Pro, as you can see there. Now I decided to go for this one because it was within my budget it is second hand i got it off the marketplace off someone that wanted to keep fit and decided it wasn't for them after a couple of months so it's virtually brand new this would retail at 400 pounds brand new um, just over on some websites but i got it just under half price which you can't go wrong with uh, the reasons i went for this one number one you can strap your feet in you can change the pedals out not a problem at all it's belt driven, so it's virtually silent when you're actually pedaling, which is amazing. And this, this is the most important thing for me, really. It's a 20 kilogram flywheel. And the reason I wanted that kind of weight is because I just know through doing these in the past that they are smoother, more consistent, and just better for workouts. It doesn't mean that you can't go and buy a cheaper one. Of course you can, but this is the daddy of flywheels. It really is. Uh, as you come up, there's lots of adjustability. So this can fit anybody up to six foot five, it says, and then you can put the seat backwards and forwards. The resistance dial, turn it to the right, it tightens up, turn it to the left, it loosens up. Really is easy to use. Now, the difference between this and the cheap ones, it is operated with magnets that are under here. Can't show you those, but as you increase it, um, it adds more resistance. It really is that simple. So compared to the lever ones that you would see, maybe contact the flywheel to sew it down, it means that I haven't got to replace anything when they wear out, which is cracking. You can see the cable here, which is one of the reasons why I wanted this one, because this computer pretty much does it all, but not quite. So it will give me my cadence, which is absolutely crucial for me to pair up with what I'm gonna show you in a moment. But time, distance, calories burnt, um, and it's got some really good stuff on there that you can cycle through on the program. Heart rate monitor doesn't work too well actually, um, which is a bit of a shame. I just think it's uh, defective on the bike in general, but I've got the Garmin Vivitiv 4 and that does a pretty good job uh, of live data on the arm. So that's good news. And I find it really comfortable if I'm honest. So um, let me show you how I pair this up to actually motivate myself properly to do the workouts. Now look, here's how I achieve it. Now, my daughter got a TV for Christmas. This TV is about 10 years old but it can still take the fire stick. So I've loaded up the Peloton app into the fire stick and I gave the 30 day free trial a bash. Gotta say, absolutely loved it. Now, if you don't have a TV, you can set this up on a device, tablet, phone, whatever you want. You still get that 30 day free trial and then you'll be charged 12.99 a month thereafter. So I actually find it to be a good price for all the stuff that you get included. Now I compare that to the Peloton bike, which you've probably seen on the adverts, at two and a half thousand pounds for the bike, plus over 40 pounds a month for that monthly subscription, uh, which is quite insane considering the benefits of that um, higher subscription seem to be the leaderboard uh, and some other little perks that you get. So for the setup I've got here, it works an absolute treat. Now let's go a little bit closer so that you can see this and I'll get into a workout and sort of show you what's what. So just using the remote, I can go over to cycling. I already know what I really enjoy doing. And then once it loads up, you get some filters on the right hand side. You can see me there. And then I like to filter the right I do. Always do a 45 minute session, Monday to Friday. And this is three weeks solid. I've been doing this at the moment. I'm really feeling the benefits of it. So once you pick your length, now it really depends where your fitness is, how much time you have, etc. go to the class type. And the one I particularly enjoy is intervals. Just find that's quite realistic to mountain biking. If you've got a particular instructor that you like, you can choose that as you sort of get to know who suits you best. But I always click on no weights because when you spend that two and a half grand on the Peloton bike, you get a set of weights with it. And if you don't have those and don't want to use it, which I don't, then just make sure you select that. 
Now what you'll see is I've got certain ticks on workouts. They're the workouts that I've done. So it does keep a good accurate record of what you've achieved already. And then you just scroll down and select the workout that you want. Now I particularly like Olivia Amato because her workouts are really hard, if I'm honest. So I'm gonna go for this one today. There's hardly any breaks. It's just 45 minutes of hardcore riding. So once you select it, you quite literally start it. You get music, you can see there, you get a description, 9.2 out of 10. So I already know this is gonna be a killer. Let's jump into the saddle, get this one started. Things that you will definitely need, something to wipe the sweat, this gets hectic, and compulsory pink bottle as well. Um, what we'll say, resistance, work out where your 100% is. So I already know mine is there. Now if I take that back to that point and then go back again, I know that that is probably about 20%. So as I keep adding on, obviously it's getting more. If I take off, it gets less. It really is that simple. On here, if you push down, it stops that flywheel pretty quick as well, which is a nice feature if you're uh, having a bit of a moment, let's say. But I am... Pretty much good to go. So let's hit into this session. Now what I would say is if you don't have a cadence reading on here, it's not the end of the world. You can go and buy a cadence sensor, stick it onto the side of the pedal. It can link up to your phone more than likely. And then you can rock and roll to the cadence of what these people tell you to do. So Olivia, let's start this. First, yeah, we'll we're going to warm that body up. Peloton, let's get started in our warm up 20 to 40 resistance. Cadence 80 to 100. In 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's the warm up. Right I'm going to come back in sections during this to show you what a state I'm in. And then, uh, you know, we'll see how this workout pans out. The music is awesome to these. And you can select on that filter what music you want to listen to as well, which is really good so i'm already getting out of breath but um you can see there heart rate 118 heart rate zone that's what i love about those sort of watches give a bit more detail on the screen down there 42 plus let's go difficult to show you properly but you know out of the saddle I'm not going to do this too much, it feels dangerous. <laughs> it is good though. What an effect this has. Don't need to spend two and a half grand to have it though. This setup is mint. 20 minutes in. Crazy. Harder to film this than I thought it would be. I'd love to give you some better angles, but you get the gist. I've got like a 30 second break here. Barely enough time to recover. Straight back into the next one. When you can't go outside, weather, COVID, restrictions. Perfect, that is it. <laughs> I'm in the cool down phase. 45 minutes done. Fantastic feeling when you finish it. Such hard work. Just a couple of things I want to mention at the end. I'm gonna do my cool down. They take you through some exercises, so I'll be back after that. So look, I've just hopped off the bike. You press done, and then it takes you back. Um, if you link up this account to your smartphone, you can see all the stuff that I've done already. So I really am pushing quite hard to keep fit, especially during this period. But for the 12.99, What's worth showing you is you get all this stuff. So strength, weights, yoga, meditation, cardio, stretching, cycling, running, let's say tread boot camp, a bike boot camp, and walking, and all that for $12.99 a month compared to the high subscription service if you actually have the Peloton bike or other bits of equipment associated with it. Hey, what I also love in the garage is I get to watch this channel. It's pretty epic, to be honest. And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, it would be wicked if you did, because after all, I'm a mountain biker. <laughs> so the spin bike is something to uh, fill the gap, let's say. So 
So that's it, that's the workout complete. I hope you've just enjoyed something different really. This is how I'm coping with lockdown and keeping my fitness as high as possible so that when I do get back out on my standing, I can just absolutely smash it down those trails and not have to then build up the fitness again, which is generally what happens during winter and during the times where I just don't get out because of work commitments as well. The 30 day free trial is definitely worth the effort. You don't need to spend two and a half grand. You don't need to spend 40 pound plus a month on the subscription service. But if you like what you've seen, gonna go and catch my breath, get some fluids in, but give it a thumbs up, throw your comments in down below. And of course, subscribe, so press the logo down the bottom there. Would love to see you come back for more content, but until then, I'll see you for the next one.